The Badgers are undefeated coming into this one, Dick. But as any coach will tell you, just because you haven't lost doesn't mean you can't. These guys have to walk with a swagger, but can't be too confident going into tonight's game. What's the starting five look like, you might ask? Well, whether it's a big game or a small game, your starting five has got to be ready to go, Dick. I like the matchup at the point guard position. The floor generals, the coaches on the floor. I think the point guard who plays the best will lead his team to victory. Well, here we go. So here we go. Looks like they're going to go with a full court man-to-man -man press, Dick. Off the mark. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside but they're playing with four people on the exterior. Both teams looking to get things going here. For two, off the glass and no good. Kicks it out. From the corner and come up short. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And with Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby. What hops. The fadeaway. Marries the fadeaway. How about the great job of getting to the basket right there, Dick? He has all kinds of moves, and we saw just about all of them on that drive. A good-looking two points. Trying to feed. Locks the shot. And the ball is saved. Great job. And we're going the other way. Let's take a moment and look at this dunk just one more time. That's a strong take. A strong, strong take to the goal. Inside. He shoots the runner. He gets it to go. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Coach has been very animated over here on the sidelines. His team is doing a great job of following strategy and playing that up-tempo style. I'm sure he'll continue to encourage them over the course of the game to ensure they don't stray away from what's working. That's, of course, Aaron Andrews, our correspondent on the sideline. He just can't escape the pressure. Hey, Trapp's giving that kid some fits. From the corner, off the mark. Now in transition. The power forward with the ball. He makes the block. Number 10 is seemingly at an emotional low point at this moment, Dick. He's got to step out of it. His team needs him. Puts up the shot. When you can pass and score like he does, it makes a coach's job a little bit easier, wouldn't you say, Dick? When you combine those two skills, the floor looks a lot wider for everyone on your team. Lobs it. Tries for two. Goes up for two. Off the glass and no good. The fans start to chant. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? Knocked it down. Five minutes left in the game clock. For the bucket. Off the glass and no good. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. On the right side. Throws it up, hoping for the best. I wish somebody would knock down a jump. And that guy had 1400 on his board. And look at him running out there like a wacko. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that wacko. <laughs> For two, off the mark, tries for two, he's money with the shot. He shoots from the corner, perfectly executed. Well, let's take a look at the tempo each team is going to try to set for this game, Richard. Well, whenever you have two teams looking to control the speed of the game, you need to keep your eye on how each team makes changes. Setting the tempo can be an advantage, but adapting can be just as important. 
Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestler, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. At the free throw line. Makes the first. Count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. About four minutes remaining. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. In and out. The small forward handles the feed. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper for the bucket. Drains it. Looking for a good shot from beyond the arc. Excellent jump shot right there. Puts up the jumper. Missed it. Pull up jumper, left side. They got it. About three minutes remaining on the game clock. Now they work it around the perimeter. Number 52 picks up the foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled to prevent the easy basket. Number four steps to the line. He hits his first. He doesn't miss that opportunity either. Pushes it up. For two, he nails the shot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. And a momentary look from three-point land. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From the corner, he misses the jumper. Here they go in transition. Number two is whistled for the foul. Well, it commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, that's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. Here's another solid junior, Dick. You can never have enough leadership on your roster. If you're a coach who's lucky enough to have a couple of upperclassmen, you're definitely at an advantage. Second shot is no good. He gets the rebound. About two minutes remaining. Defense extending the old game law. Does that pressure on the ball? Jumper. The missed shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Welcome back, and we're set to inbound after the timeout. They work it around the perimeter. Puts up the J. 
They've yet to put together a decent string of good looks at the basket. Hey, they're getting frustrated and playing right into the defense's hands. Let's it go. Can't get the shot to go. About a minute remaining. From the corner, sinks the shot. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He attempts the jump shot. Jumper will go. Scorches the net. Shot clock is dead. Number 55 with that layup will count for two plus the harm. Hey, he sized the defender up and protected the ball going in for the layup. Boy, was that beautiful. Chance to get an easy one here. He sinks it. Away jumper. Look at that follow through. Jumper didn't look pretty. I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. On the outside, he shoots from the deep corner. Nails a sweet jumper. At the half, the Friars trail by nine. Wisconsin shot lights out from the floor in the first half. I'll tell you, they executed exactly the way the coaching staff envisioned in their game plan. Huge credit goes to the players for making it happen on the floor. When we get going here today, these will be some of the keys that each team will be paying special attention to all day long. We've seen a lot of action and some impressive play here today. A look at these numbers can give you an idea of who's been doing what. Here's a double team for three. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. it up tries for two there was no doubt about that one all right let's check in third member of our team again here's Aaron Andrews the Friars will be looking to send more guys to the offensive glass as Dick mentioned earlier this strategy falls into their team style and should help them win this game they did a poor job of this in the first half guys look for them to do a better job on the offensive glass in the second half if not, they'll have a tough time getting the victory. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the key. Perfectly executed. A nice job of getting to the hole right there, Dick. When you drive with conviction, good things happen. Sometimes it's the basket, sometimes you get fouled. Goes up. Missed the jumper. With the J. Off the mark. The Friars are a balanced team, playing both up-tempo and half-court style. Dick. You know, balanced teams will definitely give you a combination of the two styles. Some teams will play up-tempo on offense and be half-court oriented at the defensive end. Other balanced teams may play in the half-court offensively and really look to pressure their opponents in the full court. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Number 23 gets the ball. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. He makes a nice shot fake from the corner and come up short. He 
He bombs from outside. Nope. Goes up for two. We're at the five minute mark. Can't get the shot to drop. He'll take some pride on the defensive end. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. He puts up the J. The missed shot. The small forward gets the pass. Number three steals the ball. The Badgers are on the run. For the bucket. Makes it. For two, he buries it. Number 52 receives the pass. He throws it up from downtown. Gets the J to fall. The Badgers have been very successful of late. They're becoming regulars at the NCAA tournament. Postseason is the time to shine, and they've really excelled of late. Buries it. Didn't look like anything was going to keep him from the basket there, Dick. He has all kinds of moves, and we saw just about all of them on that drive. A good-looking two-point. Missed it. Number 30 is charged with the foul. The layup counts and the foul. He went hard to the hoop knowing he was going to get fouled. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free-throw line. Play created a foul opportunity. The Badgers are in a great position with the time and score on their side, and they're going to have to play more in the half court now, Dick. Yeah, I think the best thing to do at this point is to slow completely down at the offensive end. If you have transition opportunities, take them. Otherwise, milk the clock and shoot with less than seven seconds left on the clock. We're at the three-minute mark. Moving it around the perimeter. The Friars will have to turn to their up-tempo and quick hitter playbook, Dick, from here on out. Neither time nor score is on their side. Hey, the clock nor the score is in their favor. They're going to have to switch up their style and play completely up-tempo. They should be looking to press and score quickly, Brad. Ten seconds. Looking for a good shot. Bad decision there by the senior. Tries for two with a layup. the two-minute mark. Timeout's been called. So let's check in with Aaron. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Well, nobody said it was going to be easy, did they, Dick? Coaching, that is. I sure hope not. A lot of sleepless nights coaching a basketball team. The expectation to win consistently, not win occasionally, but to win consistently. Winning consistently is one that stresses out a lot of coaches. Gave it up. Takes his jumper. 
Miss after miss after miss. Dick, their shooting has been horrid. Confidence has got to be an issue now, Brad. They aren't shooting the ball with any confidence whatsoever. It's Brick City, USA. One minute left on the game clock. He makes the shot. This one is shaping up to be a barn burner, Dick. At this point in the game, clock management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win, I guarantee it. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. Shot clock is dead. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. And the clock stopped with a foul. Sideline inbounds. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. The offense begins off the sideline inbounds. Stops the clock again. They're set to throw it in from the side. Number four is called for the foul. And the clock stopped with a foul. They'll throw this one in from the side. Shot. They need to score here to turn this into a two possession game. I wouldn't mind seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Working it around the perimeter. He lets it go. Nails the J. And the clock stopped with a foul. Steps to the line for the freebie. He makes the front end of the one and one. Second one, good. Expect a little change in direction here, Dick. I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. Pushes it. He tries to beat the clock. The Badgers can do no wrong right now. Chalk up yet another W in the win column. How about their play as of late, Dick? These guys have been unbelievable, Brad. They're performing at a level which puts a smile on every coach's face. I'm curious to know how long this streak will go. Some of the most anticipated games on a team schedule are the non-conference games. Players get to test themselves against an unknown and prepare against potential tournament opponents. There's a look, Dick, at the starting lineups. My own oh my. Take a look at what we have here. Two solid big men matched up with one another at the five spot. It's always great to watch. A couple of talented bigs down low. And the referee is ready to toss it up. Wisconsin controls the possession and pushes the ball up the floor. From the corner, 
And boy, they just jump out of the gate with a score early. They're sending the message, we're focused, baby. And they go in and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Gets the J to fall. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. Number three steals the ball. The Badgers looking to attack with a rejection. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. I'm Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. It around the arc in the lane missed it he manages to keep it in play alley -oop. with the J the missed shot the Badgers have improved quite a bit over the last few weeks. Hey, Brad, that stems from quality practices and a level of commitment from the team. Based on my experiences, teams that have improved have done those two things. He takes a three. Nope. Gets the rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. Fade away. He misses the fade away. Misses from in close. Strong rebound. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Gave it up. Goes up for two. He can't get the hoop to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. He launches a three. Jumper won't go. Out of bounds and a change in possession. I think that one deserves another look. Hey, when you can finish above the rim, you've got nothing to worry about, my friend. You should always throw it down when you have the chance. Number 30 picks up the foul. First personal foul. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. Hey, a player senior year is such an emotional one. The key is to stay focused and not get caught up on being in your last year of collegiate basketball. If you focus on the right things, win or lose, it'll be a memorable experience. And he got them both. Pushes it up. Takes the open jumper. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Number three is called for the foul. First personal foul. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. Gets his first. Misses the second shot. They work it around the perimeter. Number three, pump fakes. Gave it up. He goes for three. Takes it strong to the hoop. He knows how to use the strength, Brad. That's such an important skill. You've got to know how to use it without being pulled for the foul. Number three is whistled for the foul. Third team foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Off the mark. The point guard handles the feed. Dick, was he there in time or not? Oh, you betcha. Looks at a three. Scores it. Out on the wing. They work it around the perimeter. Nice fake. Inside. Tries for two. Goes. A 
Lobs it. For two. Off the mark. For the bucket. That was nice. We're at the four minute mark. On the left side. He shoots from left of the circle and come up short. Takes the jumper. They got it. Number 12 is pretty fired up and excited. Well, he's had some success and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Got it down to the low block. They're getting no good looks at the hoop tonight, Dick. I don't know what they're doing, but they're squandering away all those easy looks underneath. Number 24 comes up with it. From three-point range. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. We've got a pause in the action. More NCAA basketball coverage coming up right after this. The players got a much needed breather with that timeout. Three minutes left on the game clock. Number 12 takes the feed. Off the mark. And it's knocked away. Great block. Let's go court side. What do you got for us, Aaron? Coach has been very animated over here on the sidelines. His team is doing a great job of following strategy and playing that up-tempo style. I'm sure he'll continue to encourage them over the course of the game to ensure they don't stray away from what's working. Thanks, EA, our third member of our team, providing that additional insight. And let's take a look at a player who's really having a good game here tonight. He's been playing like he has one thing on his mind, winning. He's been doing whatever it takes to get baskets and stops. We'll have to wait and see if that translates into a win here today. Number 24 is charged with the foul. Sixth team foul. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He takes the shot from the baseline. Knocked it down. He shoots from the elbow. Nails the fadeaway. Didn't look like anything was going to keep him from the basket there, Dick. Well, he spotted an opening, and he just absolutely great first step, and he exploded to the goal. They look to get it to the inside. Three. He misses the jumper. On the dribble, gives it up. He attempts the trifecta. Busts the jumper. the circle they work it around the perimeter missed it gave it up from the corner he might be on his way to a career game partner well he will Brad if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry tries one from three-point land excellent jump shot right there about a minute remaining Takes the fadeaway jumper. He misses the fadeaway. On the wing. He lets it go. He's taken too many unnecessary shots, Dick. And he's costing his team their rhythm. From the corner, the missed shot. Goes up for two. And the fans love it, man. They love it. Our house, baby. Our house. The Cougars are now in the bonus. Let's check out this dunk one more time, Mr. Vitale. Hey, look at him hammer this one down. Send a message, young man. Send a message. Here's another solid junior, Dick. Knowing there are guys on your team who know what you want and know what it takes to be successful is a big bonus.
had a momentary look from three-point land. Scorches the net with a J. At the end of the first half, the Cougars are behind by 19. Number three is playing just spectacular ball right now, Dick. Man, he got off to a real hot start in the first half. I suspect he'll come out firing in the second half as well. Court press now, Dick. On the outside. From the corner. Hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? for two off target all right let's check in third member of our team again here's Aaron Andrews the Badgers are really delivering on one of the points of emphasis that Dick brought up establishing that inside game the coaching staff is happy with what the team has been able to accomplish in this regard it's worked so far so look for it to continue in the second half all right thanks Aaron from way outside nope For two, and he misses the shot. The shooting guard takes the pass. If everyone else is covered, give it to the guy in the stands. For the bucket, goes in. Goes up for two. He shows the sweet touch. The dribble gives it up. He shoots from the deep corner. Busts the J. Number four takes the pass. Tries for two. He drains the bucket. There's the trap. They keep him under wraps. What a great defensive trap there. Six minutes left on the game clock. Now they reset the play. Basketball IQ really important. Know what a good shot is. Can't connect. Off the glass and no good. The man asking for a screen here. Hey, whether it ends up in a roll or fade, his well-executed two-man game is always a treat to watch. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. They'll bring it back out on top and reset it. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. I hate it when guys can't make that entry. For two, there was no doubt about that one. Strong with a ball and strong with a finish. He had one thing on his mind, and that was getting to the goal. Mission accomplished. He shoots from the corner. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks, Brad. They need some buckets, and they need them in a hurry. Here comes the ball screen. Puts up the J. Off the mark. Launches the three. Knocked it down. Number three takes it away. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, 20 points. It doesn't matter. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. Perfectly executed. This is an old-fashioned stopping. These shots are falling from everywhere. 
Chargers have been receiving that additional attention due to their recent success. Last time I checked, recent success was a good thing. As a matter of fact, any success is a good thing. Puts up the runner, drains the shot. Looking for a good shot. From the corner, jumper won't go. On the right side. Gave it up. Goes up. The Badgers have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Up and inside. And now the fadeaway jumper. Missed the jumper. Three minutes left on the game clock. Kicks it out. He shoots from the deep corner. Nails the J. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumper, the missed shot. Number 30 takes the feed. He wants a three. Missed it. Throws it up. There was no doubt about that one. Coach about to adjust his rotation. Looking for a good shot. He throws it up from downtown. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Two minutes left on the game clock. Out on the right wing. Dumps it in for the bucket. It sticks. From the top of the key. Can't get the shot to drop. Goes up for two. He gets the bucket to fall. Time out on the floor, folks. More ESPN coverage coming up right after this. Time out call. We'll get back to the action right after this. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. We saw moments ago just how excited the coaching staff was. They've been preaching execution on offense and tough, hard-nosed defense. It seems like his words, excitement, and enthusiasm are paying off. Wow, that was kind of intense. Intensity is the name of the game, baby. you got to have players fired up and ready to go. And if they aren't, the coach's job is to step in and light that fire. He has a chance to cash him in. It goes in. Makes the second shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. And the crowd is alive now, Dick. Hey, this is why games like this are so exciting. The arena, the crowd, the competition. Everything amounts to such a great atmosphere. It's not a good day to be on a visiting team. Tries for two. He gets the bucket. On the left side. On the outside. He strips him clean. He pushes it hard up the court.
Wisconsin wins by a huge margin tonight. The outcome was never in doubt. It was always a question of how dominant they would be. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.